Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, this is a very common question that I get for those Kawasaki engines. You know, is 20W50 a good choice for those engines? Well, if you, uh, you know, care about, well, I guess, well, if you want your equipment to last a long time, you know what I mean? And as everyone knows, the commercial equipment or non, even non-commercial, uh, the Kawasaki's engines, or, you know, the, we're talking about thousands of dollars. And if you talk, start talking about commercials, it's a $10,000 equipment, you know, and you want to get as much as possible life. And, you know, over the years, I have found this one interesting trend that when you go above and beyond what manufacturer says, you double and triple life equipment. It doesn't matter what brand of equipment is. I seen from the worst of the design, but was was ran on quality synthetic oil and changed more often, and people got over a half a million either miles or seven hundred thousand miles, you know, on motorcycles and so on. And if you want to get, let's say, a million miles out of your landscaping equipment. You don't want to follow what manufacturer said. Never, never follow because any manufacturers that makes products, cars, motorcycles, landscaping equipment, engines, it doesn't matter. Their goal for you to keep buying more engines, more vehicles, more equipment. It makes sense because the more they sell, the more they make. If they're not gonna sell, they're gonna go pretty much bankrupt. They're gonna be in. That's how the system set up. So either them go on bankrupt or you go on bankrupt. Pick a, pick a, you know, as the saying goes, pick your poison. So what I want to share, I found this for this Kawasaki engine, uh, FR691V, actually they all share the same. And this is actually on their website, and which is interesting, you know, it's, you know, like any air-cooled engines, they, they run hard. They run really hot and really hard. So let's scroll down. Let's take a look and see what information I want to share. And I want to give you my view of 20W50, what I think about it. So first, it only takes about 2.2 .2 quarts. That's really nothing. That's a very small uh, sump capacity for the engine, you know what I mean, 2.2. .2. But I understand it's a small engine too, so small engines... It's very rare where you're gonna find a small engine with a lot of big capacity of that holds a lot of oil. It's it's always you know a few quarts. So since a few quarts, let's see what does the owner's manual say about 2050. So this is what owner manual says. Uh, you can run 20W50. You can run any any viscosity except zero, yeah, except zero W. 20, 30, 40, you don't want to run any of those discussions. Is it a good choice, 20W50? Well, 20W50 is non-synthetic. It's a synthetic board. So for oil to qualify for to be synthetic, it only requires 1% of synthetic. It could be additive or synthetic base oil added. So is it worth using it? Absolutely not. If you want an ultimate protection, use ultimate oil. Use synthetics, true synthetics, and change them more often. Because conventional oil with the only 1% of synthetic additive or synthetic base oil, it's basically a still conventional oil that has a lot of impurities that is going to make your equipment's life much shorter than synthetic oil. Because synthetic is pure, one well, true synthetic. I'm not talking about synthetic blends. So, would I run it? No. I would not run 20W50 if this was my equipment, even if it was down South Florida, I am North. I would run a 10W40. Well, thicker oil does not mean better protection. Why they use thicker oil? Because of it's being conventional, basically, or synthetic one. You're not going to find anyone recommending 20W50 if it's synthetic. They would tell you go 10W40, 10W30. Because 10W40 or Tory will protect your equipment much better than 20W50 conventional or synthetic blend oil. So that's what it is, and that's how the you know the the, the whole industry set up to work. 
and it's actually here it says there is a note tender before all is recommended for most conditions the oil viscosity may need to be changed to accommodate atmospheric condition using 20 oil using 20 w50 oil in higher ambient temperature may reduce oil consumption so if i was a dealer and my goal to sell more i would tell my customers use 20 w50 because i know the equipment will wear out faster and you're going to be buying more either parts or the service for the repairs or new equipment because that's how i would make more money but I, my recommendations don't use low quality 20w 20w50 use synthetic use true synthetic don't use full synthetic use true synthetics oil and change it more often change it every couple months you're not going to go bankrupt by changing a couple months two quarts of oil you'll go bankrupt if you have to buy new equipment every year 10,000 or more or spend time in the shop for repairs because stuff worn out plus with true synthetics you're going to have lower evaporation rate too. you're going to have less oil consumption so if you have questions drop me in the comment section otherwise if you want to use you know Kawasaki brand I'll post a link if you want something else I'll post a couple links to other brands too so Appreciate, thank you, and have an awesome day.